drama, It's Okay to Not Be Okay, Country, South Korea, Episodes, 16, Directors, Park Shin Woo, and Yoon Dong Yoon, Cinematographer, Kim Dong Young, Composer, Nam Hai Song, Cast, Main Role, Kim Soo Hyun, as Moon Gang Tae, So Ye Ji, as Ko Moon Young, Oh Yoon Se, as Moon Sang Tae, Park Kyo Young, as Nam Ju Ri, Supporting Role, Moon Woo Jin, Moon Gang Tae's Young, Kim Soo In, Ko Moon Young Young, Kim Chong Won, as O Ji Wong, Director of, OK Psychiatric Hospital, Jang Young Nam, as Park Hen Jo, Head Nurse at, OK Psychiatric Hospital, Kong Ji I Doon, as Jo Jae Soom, Gang Tae's friend, Kim Ju Hyun, as Lee Sang In, CEO of Sang Sanjia Sang Publishing Company, Park Jin Ju, as Yu Sum Jae, Art Director Sang In's assistant, Kim Mi Kyung, as Kong Soom Diok, Ju Ri's mother, Jang Gyu Ri, as Sian Bile, Ju Ri's best friend, Ji Hai Won, as patient, Yoon Jae Kwang, as Ji Young Tae, patient, Kong Ji Hoon, as Park Ok Ke Run, patient. Synopsis Moon Gang Tae is a community health worker at a psychiatric ward, who was blessed with everything including a great body, smarts, ability to sympathize with others, patience, ability to react quickly, stamina and more. Meanwhile, Gang Tae that has always been caring for his mentally disabled, autistic brother Sang Tae. Because of that, he lived his life around his brother and always put his brother before him. His brother is traumatized by the murder of their mother, but he can't cope with it which is why they always have to move around. They meet up with the beautiful Ko Moon Young. Due to suffering from an antisocial personality disorder, seems extremely selfish, arrogant, and rude. Ko Moon Young is a popular writer of children's literature whom she loves Gang Tae, but Gang Tae denies love and Ko Moon Young doesn't know it. The two defy fate and fall in love, and they both find out that they have a history together. Also the story turns dark, when it appears that the murderer of the mother of the Moon brothers is still alive and she leaves hints for them. Mun Young turns out to have a small heart as she wants to protect Gang Tae and Sang Tae, even if it hurt her. Within the psychiatric hospital where Gang Tae works, we get to see glimpses of people with mental issues. Someone that is suffering from a trauma from war, someone who combats alcoholism, but also someone with dementia and multiple personality disorder. This drama gives us an insight of a reality that we need to see and we need to try to understand these people. Also we need to learn for respect these people. My review. This drama is something else. It hooked me right from the start, and then I was glued to my seat all the way through. This is one of those special shows that captures your heart and takes you on an emotional journey that leaves you changed when you are through special indeed. The drama is like a dark modern fairy tale. It has a magical quality to it in the way the story is told. The script was so incredibly well written, with every line of dialogue having meaning. A lot of thought also went into the production with so much attention to detail in constructing the sets as well as how the scenes were shot. The original soundtrack also greatly enhanced this magical feel. All of these elements blended together beautifully to carry us away into this slightly disturbing yet very healing fairy tale. Kim Soo Hyun and So Yi Ji delivered powerhouse performances, and any time they were on screen together was completely captivating in so many different ways their chemistry was palpable. They run very hot and cold with each other which resulted in some incredibly intense moments as well as some deeply emotional ones. I was thrilled with how this character was handled. Many times in shows characters with disorders like his are sort of relegated to being a token side character that just impacts the main character. Not so here. Sang Tae is written as a completely fleshed out character that has his own journey to go, is an integral part of the story, and is just as important in every way wonderful to see. Oh Young Se also really put in a terrific performance as Sang Tae. I was very impressed with him and just how much he brought this character to life and opened a window into his soul. 
It's okay to not be okay has so many relationships to explore too. I already mentioned the one involving Gangte and Moon Young. One that is just as important though as that of the brothers. I could go on and on about all of the amazing relationships featured in this drama. Sangte and Moon Young definitely have quite the interesting relationship with each other and quite fun to watch. Then we have a wide array of wonderful supporting characters that are explored. There are friendships, romance, parent, child relationships, and more. Suffice to say, everyone in this drama is important, has a story, and is connected to the overall narrative. It was beautifully done. As you can see, It's Okay to Not Be Okay explores a host of mental health issues and complicated themes. I experienced so many different emotions watching this drama. So much raw pain is dealt with in this story. Our characters are all very different from each other and have their own issues to deal with, but they all ultimately need the same thing, love and acceptance. Loneliness can be crippling, and that is shown very clearly here. Seeing this unlikely group come together and heal was such a treat. The concept of what a family is was explored in such a touching way. It's okay to not be okay is one of those unique and special thought-provoking dramas that truly is a masterpiece. It tells a heart-wrenching yet beautiful story of growth and healing. The characters are flawed, but we come to understand them and root for their personal growth and happiness. They don't have to be perfect to achieve that either. Love and acceptance can be found in imperfection. The message is clear and simple. It's okay to not be okay. So, K-drama lovers, hope you will enjoy the video. Leave your comments about this video at the comment section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe my channel. See you on next video. Thanks for watching.